Have you ever wondered how you can mark grid lines, data, steel features or any other sensitive construction elements faster and more accurately? Well, I want to present you the RS150M stakehead that I've been using with success on a few construction projects for the last few weeks. First, let's make this clear. I don't have any affiliation with any producer or supplier and I bought this prism with my own money. After seeing a review on the Third Dimension YouTube channel, it came into my mind that I can make my life way easier with setting out anchor bolts on some of my future projects. So a bit later, I will show you how I used it and what were the results. When I went to the supplier site to order, I saw that there were two versions of the prism C, which is copper coated and S for silver coated. To be honest, there is no significant difference between them and it doesn't matter which one you buy, but usually Leica uses copper coated prism and Trimble and the rest of the manufacturers use it silver coated prisms. I'm using on my highly accurate projects a Leica mini prism copper coated with my Trimble Total Station and until now I had no extra errors but in this case I had to make one choice and uh, I choose the silver coated one for my Trimble Total Station. A couple of months ago I met Georg Roth Butcher, the founder of Iris System in London and asked him about the accuracy of the prism and this is what he told me. So we have a white paper available. The white paper is can download on our website. Uh, okay. the, the accuracy of our prism is proved by University in Munich. It's 0.6 millimeter, including the error of the instrument. Because I am a suspicious surveyor, I tested myself on one of my sites. I marked a few grid lines on a three meters distance using the 150M taped them and the difference was around two millimeters. It arrived in a couple of days and it came in a very practical small carrier bag with a small strap that is padded and protects the prism very well. The survey aid is also magnetic and it sticks to the steel structure which can be very useful. I also recommend buying a deep hole marking pencil. I bought a while ago this tracer pencil from Amazon together with spare leads. How do you normally use this uh, setting out aid? You set out your point and once you are happy, you slide the prism and mark your point with the pencil. The intersection of the two lines represent the center of your prism. You can use it on the wall or on the concrete floor, same like you set out with the mini prism, but the marking is more accurate. Now let's get to the interesting stuff. How did I actually use it uh, this week on my projects? I used it to mark construction grid lines, offsets and datums on the wall. Before this tool, I was marking using the reflectorless function, but the disadvantage is that you can mark only with an angle of 60 degrees left and right. And uh, because the, the laser point is so big with the distance, you will need two persons to market properly. Today's market is hard and expensive to find surveyors and the only surveyor that I could afford is Nacho. And even he is asking for a salary raise. So another method that I used was by using only the small prism of the mini prism without a case, but it was a pain to mark the point accurately on the wall. There are also other methods, but nothing compares with the RS150 regarding speed and accuracy. Finally, I will show you how I used RS150 to position very accurate some anchor bolts. Okay, so let's go inside. Let's go, Nacho. I am here on site. I want to, to mark uh, some ball pads and I'm gonna use this tool. If you ever positioned uh, fixed anchor balls before, you know that the tolerance is very tight and also the concrete needs to be not too soft so the balls will not float, but also not too hard so you can sink the anchor balls. When using a mini prism, the biggest challenge is that you need to keep the prism plumbed while looking at the controller and slowly reposition the ball pads while doing these two operations. 
by using uh, the RS-150 basically there is no need for plumbing because RS-150 is almost flushed with the ball pad it's only 50 mil uh, height I will let this guy to explain you better the operation so the way that I did it uh, was uh, I will show you guys as my total station and I just align the zero on here this mark as you can see with one of the axes same on here see and zero here with this line line with this axe and here same and good thing about this one you can actually sorry, you can twist it towards you and then realign it here you see and you can twist it as much as you want or you can even slide it and you have more marks here that's really cool this made me align them really really accurate yeah so 